Hello friends, this is Pastor Faith coming from St. Paul United Methodist here in Omaha. I'm so excited this afternoon to bring you a moment of joy. And today we will be looking at the seasons of life. I want us to figure yourself in the world as a grand stage where the curtains rise and fall to reveal the seasons of life. Ecclesiastes teaches us that there is a time for every purpose under heaven. And as we all know, in the world we have different seasons. Where I come from, we have two seasons. We have the wet season, and we also have the dry seasons. Here in Omaha, we have four seasons. And right now, we are at the middle of a very hot season. And in all these seasons, God is always in control and He has divinely appointed every season. And in life, we experience different kinds of seasons. There is time for laughter and there is also the time for fear. There is time for planting and also there is a time for reaping. There is time for dancing and there is also the time for mourning. Each season is important in life and every season is a transitioning period. Then, if that is the case, the question we have this afternoon, how can we transition from one season to another? And how can we help others to transition from every season of life that they have found themselves in to another seasons? Remember, all these seasons are never permanent. They will come to pass. They will have an end. Just as the way we have the summer and we see the summer ends and we go to winter in life also, all the seasons that we experience, they usually have an end. We are reminded that we need to cultivate joy in every season because we know it has a reason. It has a purpose of coming in our lives. So we are supposed to, create, to uh, cultivate joy. Even in those times of challenges, we can find something to rejoice about. And as we are reminded again, that every season has a, a reason and it has an end. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the preacher believed to be King Solomon begins by presenting a series of contrasting pairs, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, and so on and so on. And this reminds us that all these seasons are characterized by a dynamic nature, just as the natural world experiences the seasons that we have gone through. So all the seasons of life also are divinely ordained by God. This divine order of time reminds us that change is an inherent part of life, and rather than resisting it, we shouldn't seek to understand the purpose behind each and every season of life that we go through. And as we continue to be reminded of these seasons, God is also reminding us that he has made everything beautiful in every season. We may struggle to comprehend the entirely God's work and how it begins or how it's going to end. But in all this, God calls us to trust in his planning and in his wisdom. We might not always see the reasons behind the seasons we encounter seasons of joy and seasons of sorrow, seasons of growth and seasons of pruning. But we can find solace in knowing that God's plan is perfect and his timing is impeccable. And God is always present in all this. 
we cannot worry we cannot be sad we can find time to think of all these seasons but in it all by indwelling in the ones of Christ that he reminds us that he is in control of everything and as we continue in this season of life and as we continue in this season of the year we are reminded how can we help others to transition in other seasons of life as we help ourselves also to transition from one season of life to another one and until we meet again may god bless you as we continue to seek his face and as we continue to trust him to reveal to us every season of life god bless you and god be with you amen <music>